Hey guys, it's Re slash Corvellas from Tumblr, um, and this is basically a video about Carefree Black Girl Summer 2K14 makeup products. So um, I asked you guys if you wanted to see a, a makeup tutorial or a get ready with me or something of the sort, or you just wanted me to sit here and talk. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a text. Why are people so rude? Oh my god. Okay, anyway. Um... So I'm just basically going to sit down and talk to you guys about the different makeup products that I've been using this summer, or well, spring essentially, and going into the summer, and um, how I'm sort of transitioning my makeup from the colder months to the, to the summer months, and kind of what my look is, like what my look is. And this is basically like my carefree black girl look, like floral dress, pearls in the ears, minimal makeup, box braids, like this is my look. So I'm going to show you guys kind of what I've been using and what I've been loving and what I've been um, sort of getting into to achieve this sort of minimal makeup effervescence, you know, honey child kind of look that I'm serving these days. All right. So the first thing I'm going to talk about, I got my whole, like, I have a whole, like, thing here. I filled it with stuff, a bunch of goodies, but I'm trying to keep it under 10 products because I don't want this video to be like 30 minutes long. And you guys know I'm long winded as hell. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is... The Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I wanted this palette for at, at least six months. Like, and I didn't want to buy it because I was like, oh my God, like I cannot see myself spending $50 on eyeshadow. Like, it's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. I'm kind of ashamed, honestly, that I spent this much money on this palette. But I have to say, I really think it's worth it. Like, I really, really think that this palette is worth every single penny, especially if you're a black girl because you know the naked palette came out and like all the white girls were like oh my god naked palette oh my god and I and I like swatched the naked palette on my skin and I was like um this doesn't look like me naked like none of these colors work with me at all and they're t of course it's typically for women of a lighter complexion so finding a neutral palette for my complexion or darker can sometimes be a nightmare so um I found this one and it's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and it's, you know, that's the gimmick. It's, it looks like a chocolate bar, and you open it up, and you get all of these different colors. And I'm going to bring it a little bit closer so you guys can kind of see what the colors sort of look like. It's just a varying array of browns and neutrals, and it's a good kind of neutrals because it's not like creamish, you know, pink neutrals. It's like brown neutrals, so it's, um, it's to me, kind of more ideal for my skin tone and I've been able to make a variety of different looks with this and this is my go-to palette. This is the only palette that I'm really reaching for as far as creating um, natural looks basically. Um, let me see, I probably can't find the box right now because I'm ill prepared naturally but um, and, and the only thing I don't like about it, of course, is that the colors are not written on it. But I'm just going to go through really quick and, and show you guys some of the colors that I like. It's kind of hard to do this with the with the webcam. I hope you guys can see, okay, without like, all right, I don't know what I'm doing. Can you guys just like, okay. Um, so I like this color right here. And I think it's called Salted Caramel. And I like this highlight color over here. And I love this one here for an all-over lid color. And it just has like these shimmery colors down here that are just great for the lid. And um, and this is my favorite color over here, this like ruby-ish um, shimmery color. Let me bring it a little bit closer so you can see. It um, To me, it kind of works as the perfect sort of... Um, different way of doing a smoky eye. Like if you, I usually do like a dark brown smoky eye. That's sort of like my go-to look. But for some reason, when I add this color in there, it just adds like a little something extra to it, and I really, really, really like it. So this is number one on my must-have Carefree Black Girl. This palette, um, Carefree Black Girl Summer 2K14 makeup. Okay, and then I'm gonna talk about I guess since I'm already on eye products I guess I can talk about brows um this is the Anastasia brow Wiz, and this is one of those products that you see every makeup guru talk about and everybody raves about and I was like I'm not buying this because I'm not pay paying $20 for an eyebrow pencil are you crazy and I actually ended up getting this um as a gift and so I was finally able to try it out and honestly y'all I gotta say, 
it's worth the $20. Like, I know, I know, I know you're going to be like, Re, are you really telling me to spend $20 on eyebrow pencil? But let me tell you why I think this is worth it. I have it in the color soft brown. And sort of what the carefree black girl look is to look like you're, you have makeup on, but to not look like you have makeup on. Now, and then I put extra stuff on today because I was filming. But usually if I just fill my brows in with this and it looks like your brows, like, it's one of those pencils. I don't know how it works, but it makes my brows look so kind of soft and really pretty and really natural. And I really, really like that. So, I mean, I of course, there are many different other things you can use to do your brows. You do not have to get this, but I find that this sort of makes a difference in how my brows look and helping them look a little bit more soft. And so it kind of works with the look. So I'm going to mention it. Uh, so the next thing we're going to talk about is... Um, Let's talk about some face stuff, right? Some skin stuff. Now, the thing about my makeup this summer is that I want it to look extremely natural. So I've been trying to play around with a lot of cream products because cream products, I have dry skin. So powder products tend to look very powdery and cakey on me. And so I like to go with creamy stuff because it makes me look dewy and it looks more like skin on my skin personally. Now, this is a product that I tried really randomly. I just randomly ordered it when I was ordering some other stuff off of Camera Ready Cosmetics. And it is the Ben Nye Cream Shadow in the color Dark Brown. And this is what it looks like. And I'm going to open it up for you guys so you guys can see. And it's literally just a cream shadow. Now, this can be used... I guess if this is your skin tone, it could be used as a very light foundation. It could be used as a light concealer. It doesn't have an amazing amount of coverage. It's not really meant for that. But what, it, what I use it for is to cream contour. So I will place this along um, my jawline, not my jawline, but my cheekbone on either side and then on my jawline and around my forehead just in little dots and then blend it in with a small dual fiber brush. And it tends to just give me that soft contoured look without using a lot of powder, which can make me look cakey. So I really love this product. I love it for my carefree black girl looks because just a little bit of blending and a little bit of um, highlighting concealer under the eye and just some powder. And I look like my face looks done, but it also looks super, super natural. And yeah, I like it. I really do like it. I mean, it's, it's one of those... Um, not necessarily high-end, but more like professional makeup uh, kind of products. And I just tried it on a whim and ended up loving it. And uh, it's not expensive at all. I think this was less than $10, which is pretty amazing for how much product you get compared to how much you're going to actually be using. Uh, so, yeah, I love that. And then for another cream Ben Nye product, this is the Cream, Ru cream Rouge in Raspberry. And this is what it looks like. And it's basically a cream blush, cream rouge, cream blush, duh, whatever. Um, so that's basically what it is. And the thing about cream blush is that I have I like cream blush, but I've never been able to find one that really shows up on my skin because my skin tone is so deep. So it's been it's always been super hard to find one that, that showed up on my skin because most of them, I'd rub it on and I'd be like, where is it, you know? So, but this is highly, 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 highly pigmented. I would even suggest this for someone that was even darker than I am. They could probably use this and be really happy with it. Um, for those of you that are lighter than me, they have different colors in this in this thing. So, you know, maybe this pink might be a little bit too pink for you. But for my complexion and darker, I think it's lovely. I think it looks really nice. It just gives my skin like a nice flush, which is weird because I'm black. And you know black people don't blush. Like, Well, I wouldn't say all black people don't blush, but I definitely don't blush. But it makes me look like I'm blushing, which is like amazing, and I love it. So um, so that's one of the cheek products that I think, are, think, think is really great. Um, and then, uh, what else I got in here? What else I got in here? Okay, let's talk about this powder. So this is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. And I have it in the color um, Cool C8, I believe. Yes. Um, and the good thing about I was really kind of skeptical about the entire L'Oreal True Match brand. Just because I had, like... I don't really know why I didn't like it. I think I had a bad experience where I bought the wrong color for me and was like, oh, what is this? But um, I actually switched to using the foundation. I'm wearing the True Match foundation now 
along with this powder. And I have to say, and I didn't include the foundation because I'm kind of like iffy with foundation. I switch, I switch them a lot because I'm always trying to find the perfect foundation. But this is doing really well for me right now. But I wanted to talk about the powder because this powder is so good. Like, and I'm, I haven't tried a lot of powders because like I said, powders tend to make me look cakey. And so I tend to stay away from powders because they always make me look like I'm wearing makeup. They always make me, it looks like a powder on my face because my skin is already dry. So it just exasperates the issue. But this powder sort of went on my skin like silk and even when I put it on my skin still looked like skin it didn't have that really powdery textured cakey look to it and I was just like yes honey like yes yes you know like and I really love it um the color that I have like I said is cool c8 and the color of foundation that I use is I mix the C8 with the C9 because the C8 is a little bit too light for me and the C8 is a little bit too dark for me. So I mix both of them together in order to get something that that matches um, not only my face but my neck and my chest because I got a lot of different colors going on here. You know what I'm saying? So um, this is one thing that I would suggest just because it's so super blendable and on the skin it gives that great natural finish that you kind of want when you're doing Carefree Black Girl. So um, yeah now what else are we going to talk about let's talk about bronzers now bronzer is a tricky thing for a black girl because typically if you are my complexion or even a little bit lighter than me like if you're like brown to dark skin what the drugstore what makeup brands consider bronzer doesn't really bronze you because it's too light for you um, so I've always been on the lookout for a bronzer that does what it's supposed to do for the lighter complexion girls and to do it for me. And it's always been a struggle. And I finally discovered that I'm probably never going to find a matte bronzer with the title bronzer that bronzes me. But what I could do was get a matte face powder and just use it as a bronzer. So what I ended up doing was buying this black radiance powder. And this one is in rich mahogany. And it looks like this, which is considerably dark. It's not considerably darker. It's like maybe two shades darker than my skin. And how I use this is I, and as you can see, I really do use it. I've hit pan on it. Um, I use this like you would a bronzer. I take a big brush and I put it on the hollows of my cheeks. I take it around the forehead. Everywhere I, I, I place the... Um, the cream contour basically and and I use that to diffuse the cream contour and blend everything out so I can kind of like shape my face a little bit and then I also take it along the sides of my nose to give a subtle kind of contour to my nose and I take it around the chin and down onto my neck because my neck is a little bit darker than my chest so it kind of helps blend it all together I'm sorry, I'm not holding it up. I am so, like, bad at this, but I'm having fun now. Okay, and so, yeah, this is basically what it looks like, and it's just, you know, and I definitely would suggest these powders. I didn't really love the Black Radiance powders all over the face, but I think if you're just using it in these areas, I think it'll be um, a pretty good investment, in my opinion. Um, secondly, for bronzers, I, of course, want to mention my Holy Grail bronzer. The one bronzer I think every black girl needs to have in their collection, and that is the CoverGirl Queen Bronzer. Mine is in Ebony Bronze, which is the darkest shade that they carry. As you can see, it is darker than my skin tone. And this is just a really great bronzer. It's super, it's, it's probably not as blendable as I would like personally, but that's pretty much the only bad thing I can say about it. I love the color. It's nice and rich and warm and deep. Um... It has shimmer in it, but not an obscene amount of shimmer where you're looking and walking around looking like, oh, girl. But um, enough shimmer in it for it to give you that glow. And it's just a really great product. I really love it. I recommend it to everybody. And it's a staple in my Carefree Black Girl Summer 2K14 makeup. Um, and then lastly for bronzer, I'm just going to mention this one super, super quickly. And I'm really mostly mentioning it for dark, dark, dark skin girls. Like I'm talking about Lupita skin tone, you know, darker than me. And I get a lot of people who, a lot of questions about 
about bronzing and, and, and how to work with the face when you have really, really deep skin because the market really doesn't cater to you if you're of a darker skin complexion. Like, it just doesn't. So when I find things that maybe wouldn't work for me but would work with somebody, work for somebody like of a slightly darker skin tone, I always hold on to it because I want to make sure that I, I'm able to mention it to people. And um, one of those products will be the Artisan Color Fake Bronzer and blackberry and blackberry and this is once again black 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 radiance and this is what it looks like now of course this shows up on the skin and I'm gonna swatch it really really fast for you guys so and ignore this because I was watching other stuff okay so this shows up on the skin as sort of a almost purpley sort of color and this is too dark for me to contour with but this would be perfect to contour and bronze for someone of a deeper complexion like if you are just if you have really dark skin and you're like oh my god what am i i'm never gonna be able to find anything that's gonna work for me or if you have learned the trick of using purple eyeshadow to con contour which is another trade secret if you have that kind of really deep 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 skin tone you can you can contour with purple eyeshadow and this is kind of borrowing from that from that concept because it does look sort of purple for me personally it's a little bit too cool for my skin and it's a little bit too dark but what i use it for is i'll take it on a, on a um, fluffy eyeshadow brush and I will just put it right here like I say I put just a little bit right in this area right here just to kind of darken my contour but I can't really use it as liberally as I would a bronzer but if you are darker than me this might be something you want to like look into because I personally think it's a great product it's just not quite for my skin tone um and once again it's by Black Radiance and it's the Artisan Color Baked, Baked, Baked Bronzer in Blackberry okay so, all right, I'm going to speed through the rest of this. I'm going to talk about my highlighter real quick. My highlighter, um, my go-to highlighter right now is Max Gold Deposit. And it's just a really shimmery gold bronze highlighter. Nothing really special about it. If you do not want to invest in the MAC version, there is a Ruby Kisses bronzer that is basically a dupe for this. But I wasn't able to find it. And I searched high and low on eBay on Amazon. I wasn't able to find it. So I just got the MAC one. It was only like, I think, 15 bucks, So it wasn't that bad, in my opinion. Um, and yeah, it's the... I'm going to read the actual thing off. It's a mineralized skin finish in gold deposits and I just apply that on tops of my cheekbones on my brow bone and down the center of my nose and just a little bit on my forehead just wherever the light is hitting me I will apply this and just makes me look all glowy and stuff so um the last thing well not the last thing but one of the last things I'm going to talk about is blushes now blush can be kind of a tricky thing for a black girl because I I, I don't know if anybody feels this way but I feel like the only kind of blush we ever get to have is like the ruby, mauvey, you know, maroon type of uh, blush colors. And I'm always like, I get kind of sick of that. So, but actually, I wear those kind of colors in the wintertime. But in the summertime, I don't really like a lot of blush. I really like what to show up on my face is my bronzer and my highlight and to look really glowy. And blush can kind of, one, it ages you. And it can just be a little much when you have these like two pink dots on your cheeks. So, for blush, I've been I created this little palette, and these little things I have two of these. These are called Z palettes, and this one is my eyeshadows, of course, and this one is my blushes. And these Z palettes are pretty inexpensive, and you can pretty much put Mac stuff or Makeup Geek, Coastal Scents, La Femme, Ben Nye, different kinds of makeup brands will have like you know inserts, and you can just stick them in here, and 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 yeah, they work. I like them. Um, so my blush Z palette has these four blushes in them and these are from a company called La Femme and when I tell you that all of these blushes cost me I think it's like two forty nine for one it is a deal of the century and it is a v wide variety of highly pigmented blushes highly pigmented blushes they are such good quality they stay on the face and they're just really lovely, like I really love them. And the four that I've been sort of sticking with this summer, I'm going to show you all of them, um, are, I have to take them off to see, Clove and uh, Cinnabar and Russet. 
I know that one by heart, and mauve. Okay, now clove and cinnabar are pretty similar in color, except this one is just slightly more pale. So this is what I like to use when I really want to look like I'm not even barely wearing blush. This goes beautifully over my highlight and my bronzer and it just sort of like blends it all together and makes me look all glowy. I really love it but it's not that great as far as like showing color because on my skin you can't really see that color. Um, but this one has a little bit more color in it and sometimes I'll tap and mix, the bo mix both of them together to get you know a little bit more pigment. Um, this one is my favorite. This one is called Russet. And it's sort of a dupe for MAC. So let me get it out. It's sort of a dupe for my favorite and only MAC blush that I own because I don't really be messing with MAC blushes like that. I don't really think they're worth the, worth the hype. But my favorite and the only MAC blush that I own is this color called Raisin. And I think that every single black girl should have this blush. If you get anything from MAC, anything from MAC, I'm going to suggest that you get soft brown eyeshadow and raisin blush. Those are the only two things that I think that if you are a black girl and you go to MAC, that's what you need. Um, and Russet is sort of a, a dupe for raisin, except Russet has shimmer in it. So I use raisin, um, and the reason why I have this right here is because I like to use it as a transition color. Or I use it sometimes just a little bit on my cheeks, just to give a little bit of color. But I love rusted because in the summertime, it's a little bit more redder, and it's a, it's a lot more shimmery. So it just looks like really glowy on the skin. It's like, oh, I love it. And then the pink one is, I already forgot the name. God, Mauve. All right. <laughs> the pink one is Mauve. And it's just a really pretty pale pink, but it's not like a pale pink that's not going to look pink on you because you're too dark. It's going to look pink, and it's going to look like a nice, soft wash of that pretty romantic pink on the cheeks. I really love it. I think all four of these colors are fantastic for the summertime. And yeah, I think we're just about done. Um, the last thing that I wanted to talk about was these little guys. Now, I know you're like, what is that? What is she holding up? Well, it's like, what? Um... These little BBs are sample sizes of uh, Kevin Aquan's Sensual Skin Enhancer. I do not have the full size of that product because it's like $48, and I was like, ha, you funny. Um, but I got the sample sizes from Cam Camera Ready Cosmetics because I was like, well, let me try it out. If I really love it, maybe I'll buy the full size, even though I've heard such great things about the product. And some of the makeup gurus that I really, really love are so into it. But I got the sample sizes, and y'all, I got to say, I love it. And I haven't bought the full size yet because, they, first of all, they give you so much in the sample. And seeing how little of it that you use at a time and that you need, this these samples are probably going to last me for at least a month, if not more. So I'm not really too pressed on buying the full size quite yet. And I use these not as foundation, even though you can use it as foundation, but I like to use it as concealer underneath my eye. And the two colors that I use are the SX14 and the SX13. And that's the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. And I'll swatch them for you guys super quickly so you can kind of see what they look like. Are you guys having fun? I'm having fun doing this. Okay. All right. That's kind of a bad swatch. But this is the SX13, and then this is 14. And what I like to do is I place 14 underneath my, like, in a, um, who is texting me? Y'all so rude. Um, I place XX, SX13 or 14 rather, like in the V triangle shape under my eye. And then I place the slightly lighter one, which is the 13 one down here. I place that like directly under my eye to really highlight that area. And, um, you know, the staying power is great. It's so blendable. It looks so good. I love it so much. I definitely suggest investing in these samples. They're only like $3.99. So, I mean... What's I mean, what's the harm? Like, just try it out. See if you like it. If you love it and you want to shut out that $50, you know, go ahead and do you. Um, and, yeah, I really think that's it. That's the only stuff. Oh, I guess I can mention this, too, because I always get a lot of questions about color correcting. This is the MAC 
Pro Conceal and Correct palette, and this is in medium deep. And I, I don't want to like tell you guys to go buy this product because I really don't even use it as much as I could or I should. Um, it's basically a concealer palette, but this is the main reason why I got the palette. I got it for the burnt coral color here, and this is what I use to color correct my skin. I place this under my eyes, I place this along my jawline, I place this over any blemishes, and then I go over with my concealer on top of those things to sort of to sort of blend them out and to counteract the dark the darkness so that it doesn't show through. Um, and I've wrote, written about this extensively on my blog, so of course you can just go there and read more about it. But um, this is what I'm using right now as far as color correcting. They do sell this color at in like a pot by itself. Um, they do sell this color. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. They do. <laughs> People are crazy. They do sell this color by itself at, in a pot, and um, and so you don't have to buy this whole thing. But the reason why I got this is because I'm never really sure what kind of concealer is good for me as far as MAC is concerned. So I thought that this was a pretty good deal to get a bunch of different colors that I can try different things with. But a lot of these are way too light for me. So I don't use this one. I don't use this one. I mainly just use everything on this side, which for $44 really wasn't worth it. But... Um, <laughs> when have I ever been good at making decisions? Never. Um, so that's basically it, you guys. Like, that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been loving. I'm wearing every single thing I mentioned today. I'm wearing it on my face. So, yeah. <laughs> of course, this video ended up being like almost 30 minutes. But thank you guys for watching. And I love you. And please subscribe. And stay cool. And I'm weird. But bye.